Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. So you might remember um, a little bit ago I reviewed a video where I had the cheeseburger mac and cheese or whatever it was. It was a new thing from Iceland, fully loaded. Um, so they were in a two, it was like two for five pounds deal. I think they're like three pounds fifty each normally. And they had quite a lot of different ones. I got that one because I felt like it was a bit more unique than some of the other ones. The other ones are pretty straightforward stuff. Um, tried it and uh, it was, was alright. But uh, this one is one which hopefully should be nice. And let's be honest, it's not breaking any barriers, but it, it does look good. So... I've got the fully loaded fried chicken and waffle fries. Um, chicken and waffles is a fantastic meal if you've never had proper fried chicken with waffles covered in maple syrup. It sounds weird to anyone who hasn't had it before because it's obviously sweet going on a, on a thing, but it is the most amazing thing you'll ever have. It's so damn good. There's a place in Glasgow called uh, Buck's Bar, which I haven't been to in donkeys because they've been shot because of the pandemic but they do a fantastic chicken and waffles and it's amazing um, of course this is waffle fries and uh, the fried chicken appears to be sort of popcorn chicken um but yeah it looks nice it's uh fried chicken and waffles it's a uh, layered with southern fried chicken uh bacon bbq sauce and mozzarella cheese sounds decent so let's have a look at the ingredients and see what is in this bad boy so the waffle fries are 45 percent uh, potatoes, sunflower oil, um, blah, 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 wheat flour, salt, modified maize starch, modified potato starch, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, paprika, raising agents, diphosphate, sodium carbonate, dextrous, yeast extract, paprika. Uh, cooked batter chicken is 15%, so there's not a lot of chicken, which is made from 53% chicken breast. Um, and then you've got wheat flour, uh, rapeseed oil. Water, maize, flour, wheat, semolina, salt, maize, starch, raising agents. Um, bunch of random stuff. Uh, what's in the actual seasoning? Black pepper, dextrose, tapioca starch, dried yeast, garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, paprika extract as well. Ground black pepper, ground white pepper, ground thyme, ground cayenne pepper. Uh, and then you've got the mozzarella cheese, which is 8%. Um, which is... Oh, no, <laughs> I'm about to say it's made of tomato ketchup, that makes no sense. Um, but there's tomato ketchup in here as well, apparently. Um, it's made from water, tomato paste, sugar, white vinegar, salt, modified cornstarch and flavouring. Dark brown sugar, cooked bacon lardons, 3%, um, which is made from pork and a bunch of preservatives. White wine, vinegar, garlic puree, lime juice, Worcestershire sauce, sugar, salt, tamarind paste, onion powder. Smoked paprika, ground fennel, yeast extract, Dijon mustard, and chipotle chili powder. Um, it's a long, long list of ingredients there, anyway. And so what are our nutritional values in this monstrosity? Uh, per pack, oven baked, 772 calories, which um, is high, but it's, it's, all, it's an alright amount for, for a dinner. That's not too bad. Uh, fat, 30.9 grams, that's quite a lot. Um, saturates, 8.3 grams, so that's almost half your saturates for the day, so yeah, pretty bad. Carbs, 93.7 grams, so a lot of carbs, that's all the potato and the breadcrumbs. Um, 28.1 grams of sugar, again high, 7.8 grams of fibre, 26 grams of protein, and then 4.5 grams of salt, which is about half your daily allowance as well. So overall, not great for you, which means hopefully it will taste nice. Although I say that a lot on this channel that, oh, it's got lots of salt, it's got lots of fat, uh, it's got lots of calories, it's probably going to taste nice. And then it just ends up not being the case. Some of those things are just, they've fired all that in to get a little bit of flavour out of it and then it ends up tasting like nothing, like that mac and cheese. Um, but I'm hoping, I've got high hopes. So let's uh, let's find out, let's show it to you first of all. Um, is that too hot? Nah, sorry, I can hold it up. <laughs> Fun. It's just out of the oven. Um, so there it is. You can see the, the chicken pieces. They're like popcorn chicken. It's got the waffle fries, bacon lardons, which is like chunks of bacon. And then there, there's barbecue sauce in there somewhere. It's not kind of, you would expect it to be over the top, but it looks like it's all congealed at the bottom. So I might have to dig to find some of that. Um, all of this is, it all looks like stuff you can get out of Iceland normally, um, but combined into a meal, because I've definitely seen these popcorn chicken balls in Iceland, you can get like a bag of them. The waffle fries as well, I buy them sometimes. Um, the bacon lardons, I mean, I, I imagine they do a lot of stuff that has bacon in it. Like I know you can get a microwavable 
um, a pasta thing with bacon through it, and that looks like the same, same type of bacon. And then the barbecue sauce, I'm not really sure, but, um, and you know, mozzarella cheese, mozzarella cheese, and it's quite stringy. Whoa! <laughs> um, yeah, all the all the sauce is pulled at the bottom, which means that the yeah, that, let me let me show you the uh, the any of the waffle fries at the bottom have kind of turned into mush, which um, isn't great. Which is why buying these things as a big thing isn't always a good idea. I think it's usually better if you buy the things separately think and then put it all together. It's like buy the chip, the fries, make them separate and then melt some cheese and so on top and then sprinkle on some bacon and a bit of sauce. Because otherwise with the sauce cooking right in there, yeah, we've got a big pile of mousse. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of everything, maybe not all, all, in, all at once on the fork. So that's a, a waffle fry with a bit of cheese and sauce. So let's let's do it, right? This is the fully loaded fried chicken and waffle fries. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? Waffle fries are a bit bland. Not gonna lie, that is a bit bland. See, that is just a big pile of bacon and cheese. Bit of sauce. Hmm. It's alright, the bacon's a bit fatty though. Um let's try one of these chicken popcorn chicken bits. Not great. Not great popcorn chicken. The um the actual chicken inside. It's apparently made from fifty three percent breast meat. But it's been mushed into such a paste that it really just falls apart completely there's no tearage or anything like that um so it feels very very processed um i want to try i want to get in get in get into one of the big really saucy bits because yeah so that's just potato that's all mushed into the sauce it needs more punch like it needs more of a whack the um, I don't know if it's the process of making it in the oven. This took forty minutes to do in the oven, by the way, so it takes ages to make. If you made all the bits separately on a tray, that would only take you twenty minutes to do. Um, if you bought all the individual packets and put them together, it probably cost you the same amount as well, and you'd get like four times as much. I think a bag of waffle fries is like a pound fifty or a pound twenty-five. And then the popcorn chicken you can get pretty cheap as well. It's like two pound or something for fat for a bag, so maybe a little bit more, but you get way more food. Um, of course, you got to buy the cheese and everything as well, but but still, mm. the waffle fries are bland. It's definitely not enough flavour in the waffle fries. They've apparently got flavour in all over them, but they're they're bland. They don't really taste. Um, there's no spice. Can't taste the pepper or the salt or anything. Bland, bland, bland. The uh, the chicken, yeah, has a kind of very processed texture to it, so it's not great. The cheese is cheese, you know, you can't really argue with mozzarella cheese too much. My biggest, I mean, it's stringy, you can see all the stringiness. The thing is, mozzarella cheese isn't very flavorful. So unless you put it on a flavorful thing, or mix it with another flavorful cheese, that is, again, also a bit bland. Um, and then the sauce, it just does not have nearly enough punch. It's like dialed back. It's like making it in the oven has um, has neutered it. So there's no spiciness to it or the, the flavour is very toned down. As opposed to our, a halfway decent barbecue sauce you might get out of a, out of a bottle. Mm. So overall, it's um, it's edible. It is edible, it's not, it doesn't taste bad by any stretch of the imagination. It just doesn't taste any very good. <laughs> it just, there's no speci nothing special about it. Every single component of it is very much the lowest common denominator from their species category. I don't know. But yeah, the, the chicken is poor, the, the, the waffle fries are poor. Um, the quality of it is, is, is okay. It's not um, bad. It's not particularly bad quality or anything. There's no grittiness to the chicken or anything like that. It's just um, 
it's just not very good. So I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. I'm going to cover it in salt and pepper or salt and vinegar probably, um, just to add a bit more punch to it. But it is a bit it is very bland and yeah, not worth the money. I wouldn't say. So this new fully loaded range is not looking good. Let's be honest. The mac and cheese was meh, and um, this again same reaction. Yeah. Don't don't have any desire to buy this again. I've had better ready meals or better stuff like this. I saw a really good McCain one that sounded really good. Um, I forget what it actually was, but it looked nice. So I might get that one and try that for you guys. But let me know if you've uh, tried any of the fully loaded range yet. Um, tell me how it is. And um, if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. Hit the bell and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me a wee comment. And um, just thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go eat the rest of this, I guess. And uh, rethink my life. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.